Hey YouTube's Gunna73 making that episode of another episode of Knife Talk and today I'm going to be talking about handle milling and basically what I'm saying by that is how the handles in these knives are milled out to reduce weight either they are or they aren't and um, it's really a big factor in how the, the weight of the knife is affected an example here is the ZT-0350 it has thick dual stainless steel liners that are not very skeletonized, there's just like one little bit patch of it right there and um, the knife is kind of small, it only has a 3.25 inch blade but the knife is over 6 ounces which is pretty heavy for such a small little knife and when you pick it up you can notice its weight as opposed to that there's like the paramilitary 2 which has dual liners that are both stainless steel but they are both skeletonized and they are inlaid into the knife so it's kind of hard to see but they are milled out very well which is nice then there's knives like the military which um, in addition to its locking liner there's a very small skeletonized liner that's right here that's adds rigidity making it the full length of the handle would make the knife insanely heavy but by making it that small and milled out it reduces weight but adds strength then there's other knives like the uh, Cold Steel Voyager. This one also has full liners, but I think they are much thinner than the uh, ZT. So this knife is actually pretty lightweight for how big it is. You know, you look in there and you can see that um, there are liners. Kind of hard to see on the video, but it has full steel liners that are not skeletonized. Yet the knife is still pretty lightweight. If this was, um, if they had milled those out, it would have been even lighter, which would be pretty crazy, but for the price, you really can't complain. And then, um, one of the best milled out knives I've ever seen is the, uh, Kershaw Tilt. This knife has, it's milled out to an insane degree. I'll try and get it on film there. You can just see how, like, on the inside of the knife, you can see all that milling they did. You know, so... Even the the frame, there you go. Even the frame lock side is milled out. So I mean, that's very expensive to do, but the end product is a very, very lightweight knife for its size. Like, whenever I show someone at this knife the tilt, their first reaction is, "Wow, it's big." When they see it and they hold it, and they're like, "Wow, this thing is insanely lightweight." So I mean, but you are paying for it. I mean, this most knives. If they're going to put in liners, they're not going to be skeletonized, simply because it takes more time and it costs more money. And if your objective with a knife is to make it more affordable, I mean, weight, generally cheaper knives are heavier, I've, I've noticed. Not always, there are some knives like the, uh, sorry about that, Kershaw Skyline, which are very lightweight, but then again, you know, they have, has a very thin liner and only one liner. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, you can get a wide variety of handle millings, you know, basically from the insane degree, insane degree, I should say. So the knife is ultra lightweight for its size, and then knives that are extremely heavy for their size. To put it in perspective, this is about an ounce or an ounce heavier. An ounce to one and a half ounces heavier, I should say, than the tilt. But it's much smaller. So, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, that was for the episode of Knife Talk. Recently broke 40 episodes, so that's pretty cool. Keep on checking with that. Any requests are welcome, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.